In this video, I'll show you how to mix down a project in the Phantom G's audio MIDI recorder to a stereo mix, and then how to take that stereo mix and export it to your computer so you can drop it into iTunes, email the project, or maybe open the project up in another audio application on your computer. It's very easy to mix down your song in the Phantom G once you have your track completed. All you have to do is simply bounce all of your tracks, your MIDI tracks and your audio tracks down to one of the Phantom G's available audio tracks. And remember in the Phantom G you have 24 tracks of audio available. So in the case of the song that I'm working in, I've recorded 14 different MIDI parts. And so I want to take and mix that down to a stereo audio track. So to perform the mix down, all I have to do is first of all go to my studio mode, make sure all of my levels and my pan settings for all my parts are the way I want them. And again, if you've recorded audio, you'll want to take and check your level settings, your pan settings in the audio mixer. And then we have the internal mixer for our internal MIDI parts. And then of course check your mixer settings if you're using the ARX plug-in boards and then also if you're controlling any external devices. So I'm ready to mix down, go back to song. Then all I have to do is click on, first of all, make sure I'm on an audio track, an open audio track. And in this case, I'm going to choose track two. And then click on record, and you get the audio record standby screen. And for audio record mode, you want to choose resampling. So to perform the mix down, all I have to do is press start and let the Phantom G play. Okay, I'll press stop. Phantom G asked me if I want to keep that take. I'll press OK. And there's my mix. We can see the mix down here on track two. If I want, I can go down and I can expand that track and look at the mix down in greater detail. But what I want to do next is I'm going to click on F. 8 song edit and then my track will highlight and I want to next go to F4 edit and my mix down will appear now in the sample edit or the audio edit part of the Phantom and if I want to preview or verify my mix down I can do that by simply clicking and holding down F7 preview Alright, so there's my mix down. If I want, within this screen, I can take and I can edit the, or trim, the start point. If I want to do that, or the end point. Or I can also perform other audio functions. But in the case of my mix down, I'm going to keep it as it is. And now we're ready to save this audio file to memory, and then export it over to our computer. So what I want to do next is I want to write the sample to memory. So to do that, go to F1 sample list, go to user sample 0002, which is the mix down I just created, and I want to press F2 save. I'm going to leave the sample the same name, 0002, and that's important, and you'll understand why that is in a moment. So press F8 OK, and then F8 write, and then save the sample. All right. Now we're ready to mount the Phantom G's memory onto our computer. So again, to do that, we go back to System, click on that, go to USB Storage, press F8 Select. In this case, I've been saving all my work to the Phantom G's USB memory, so I'll choose F2. And now the Phantom G has mounted onto my computer. I click on that, and I want to go to Next to my project. In this case, I want to go to DAM project, which is the project I created on my USB drive. Click that, 
and I want to go to next to sample SMPL that's our audio folder click on that then we want to look for audio file 0002 that's the mix down that we created on the Phantom G now all we have to do is just drag and drop that file to the desktop of our computer and there it is